If you are looking for an elegant designer bag, then these aren't it. This video is a must watch if you want to avoid common, non-elegant designer bags and I'll be sharing alternatives for each. Hey everyone, my name is Steph. If you are new to this channel and love designer bags and luxury in general, you are in the right place. Make sure you join us by hitting the subscribe button and the bell down below. Now I love a classic designer bag that oozes elegance, that understated look of sophistication. I absolutely love that. These bags just hold themselves really, really well, but I'm gonna be taking you through the ones that I don't think do that so well. And I just wanna caveat as well that this video is not about bashing the designer bags that I am describing today as non-elegant. I have some of them, they are here. I will be filming them for you. And it's just that I don't think these bags are elegant. You know, I think they are trendy, um, maybe too casual, also maybe too popular. Maybe you just see them around all the time, you know? So that is why I thought I would share with you some of the bags that I don't think are so elegant and ones that I think are good alternatives that are. I will link everything in the description box down below for you from the non-elegant bags, if you like the look of those, to the elegant alternatives. Okay, let's get on with this video. The first bag is the world's most popular designer bag. And it is this reason why I'm gonna say this bag is not elegant. And I have this bag, okay? I think everyone's had this bag at some point. This is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull bag. A lot of people already know this. This, you know, this one has the roses on. This was a limited edition Stephen Sprouse print. This is why I have this bag. If I didn't have this limited edition version that took me ages to get hold of, I would not have a never full in my designer bag collection anymore. A few reasons, just mostly to do actually with the functionality of the bag, I don't like so much. But in terms of it not being an elegant bag, okay, you see these everywhere. Like you walk down the street, you will see someone with a never full bag. Uh, they're so popular. The other problem with this bag is, I think we all know this, I think Louis Vuitton knows this, is that because they're so popular, they have been faked a hell of a lot. So you will see good fakes, you will see really bad fakes. They are just everywhere because this bag is really practical. Like you can throw so much stuff inside. You want a grab and go bag, just, yeah, that is the one. But I think if you are going for an elegant look, the Neverfull is not going to provide you with that. It's too kind of slouchy, it's too big, it's a bit, I kind of want to say it kind of falls over itself a little bit, you know, especially the GM size being really, really big. If I would opt for a Louis Vuitton on the go bag as a different option to a tote bag that is more elegant. If you are still looking for a Louis Vuitton tote, this holds itself a lot better. The structure, so much better. Let me show you them side by side. Like you could just see this one has a much better shape. It just looks a bit more elegant as well, even though it has got the monogram on there. You can also get the on the go in the on front leather. Again, if you kind of want to level up the elegance one more step with the on the go, I would go for a leather version of this. I really like the black versions. These just look so much better, more like well put together. You don't see half as many around as you do as the Neverfull. These are a bit more expensive, so I will kind of say that. If you are looking for something that is around the same price, in fact, cheaper, than the Neverfull bag. I would go with a Saint Laurent shopper tote bag as well. I'm just gonna throw that one out there. All leather bag, it's got Saint Laurent on it, but really, really small. Super understated, but fantastic quality. I would definitely go for a Saint Laurent or an on the go if you are set on getting Louis Vuitton. The next bag is the Pochette Matisse. I would say this is in between a casual looking bag and a more elegant looking bag, especially the leather ones. They look probably more elegant than the monogram canvas. But the thing that's kind of ruined this bag, very similar to the Neverfull, is that you see them everywhere. So I recently filmed a vlog at Bista Village and we were sat down having lunch and I think I saw about three Pochette Matisse bags. Three. In the space of about half an hour, just sat down uh, seeing people walk past. So for me, this doesn't feel like an elegant style of bag. A leather version would be a little bit better. Now, an alternative to the Pochette Matisse that I think is more elegant is actually the Saint Laurent Sunset bag. So let me just grab my bag here. Um, these actually come in at very similar prices to the Pochette Matisse, but you can wear this crossbody 
okay, with the long strap. You could also double it up as a shoulder bag. Okay, this looks so much more elegant. Like I said, very similar price. I'd actually say this is a little bit, I wouldn't say easier to use, but it just looks so much more sophisticated than the pochette matisse which then actually looks quite casual you see loads of people wearing this if you wanted a even more sophisticated bag um i would go for a leather bag such as a louis vuitton capucines bag i do have a capucines a bb1 and i can say it does feel very elegant very luxurious but the price tag is massively different you are looking at over double the price of the pochette matisse but yeah if you are looking to go for a look like that i would highly recommend the capucines and the ysl sunset bag next up is a valentino rock stud bag i would probably say this about all valentino rock stud bags you do get tote bags as well as this like top handle bag i personally don't like valentino rock stud i don't know i don't, I don't know just the, all the studs on it I like studded bags as well, so I don't get why I don't like this, this particular bag, but I really don't think they look elegant at all. For me, as an alternative to the rock stud bag, I would just stick with Saint Laurent, to be totally honest with you. Um, I, it's quite a bit of a different bag, but you can get Saint Laurent, different styles, different sizes. Uh, this is very similar, but it's not exact, a uh, YSL Kate bag. You can crossbody it here but yeah i would check out the ysl website i did a video recently actually on the 11 best saint laurent bags i'll link to it up here and down below in the description box for you check that out because there are some amazing bags i think saint laurent do a fantastic job of putting simple elegance into their designs as opposed to valentino the next bag that is not very elegant is the gucci marmont bag okay this is a very popular bag probably one of gucci's most popular bags and this is the reason that i don't think it's very elegant nor do you know i don't think it looks that elegant i mean it's not ridiculously like unelegant but i just think it's been done so much and actually seeing these bags in real life knowing people that have the gucci marmont bag they go quite squishy like they aren't structured very well i don't think even though they look it in the pictures you also get the gucci marmont camera bag i don't they're not elegant you know they're an everyday bag so for me as an alternative i would stick with the gucci sylvie bag i think the sylvie is way more elegant than the marmont i think it looks better than the marmont and i think it's more understated but it still has you know it has the chains on there it's still got that like gucci vibe but maybe not so much in your face so i think the sylvie is a great alternative to the marmont you definitely aren't going to see it as much um, and you can pick up some great pre-loved bargains next up is a bag that very much plays up to trends this is the jackie mousse i believe it's pronounced lishikito i might have got that probably probably have actually got that wrong but this bag oh my gosh it's like the micro bag that everyone's getting the really small one they come in quite a few different sizes actually and then recently i was in selfridges and i saw they have these ones with like the curled round handle which looks like a pigtail to be honest with you they've got ones with like shearling trims on like these bags i don't care if you get a black and gold one these bags are not elegant they are very much trendy that is what the jackie mousse brand is about and i i like jackie mousse okay i've got um one of the bahia shirts i absolutely love that like the fashion's really great but i think again these bags are fashion bags like they are trendy they aren't timeless elegance so as an alternative i would again go to ysl this is a toy lulu bag i'd probably get a more plain one if i was going for elegance and then change the strap up to a nice chain um, but i would do that if your budget will allow uh, so again cute little crossbody i would go for a chanel business affinity i mean the price difference here is totally different chanel cost thousands the jackie mousse a few hundred pounds but yeah if you are looking for a nice small size crossbody bag that is elegant instead of trendy i would look to ysl and chanel the next bag is from bottega veneta this is the basket weave bag which again is very much right now a trendy piece if it was me i would buy high street because 
I do not like the look of this basket weave bag. It's definitely not elegant. It's very much trendy. And even then, I think it's a love-hate kind of thing. Personally, I don't like it, but I have found a fantastic alternative from Bottega Veneta, actually. This is the Mount bag. I really like this. It has the gold chain across the front, full leather, flat bag, really simple. No like major things on there other than the chain. The chain is obviously quite trendy, but I don't think overall this is a trendy bag. I think it's definitely more classical looking, toned back with a bit of style. So for me, this would be the perfect alternative to the basket weave bag. The next designer bag that's not so elegant is the Balenciaga City Bag. This bag is very much boho chic kind of vibe. I feel like it's an everyday kind of grab and go bag. It's got like tassels hanging off of it. It's quite slouchy in style. For me, it just does not look very elegant. It feels a little bit all over the place. Look, I know the quality of these bags are great, but I think it's the tassels and zippers and it's just, it's got a lot going on and I don't think that is particularly elegant looking. So the bag that I would go for instead, which is very similar, is actually the Givenchy Antigona, the soft luggage version. So this is much simpler. It's quite a similar shape, a boxy shape, but you can pull the sides down. It's still quite trendy, um, but I think this in a smooth black leather just looks so much more sophisticated. And a curveball one as well would be the Prada double bag, okay? If you are looking for an everyday bag, which is a bit more well put together, I would go for a Prada double. This is one of my favorite bags from Prada. Um, this is a small size. I have this in cameo pink with gold hardware. And it just, again, it holds its shape really nicely. It's a much uh, nicer style bag than I think the city bag is if you want something that's got easy access. You can get these in lots of different colors. I'd probably stick to a neutral such as black and gold, uh, pink and gold, or maybe a caramel and gold for more of a sophisticated look. The next bag is the Prada reissue and kind of the same, very similar style of bag, the Louis Vuitton multi pochette accessoire bag. These bags have a lot going on. They've got like bags down here, coin purses going on, straps, chains flying all over the place. They aren't sophisticated, they are very trendy. They are very much playing up to kind of fashion trends and yeah, they're not elegant at all. The alternatives to these is I would get the multi pochette accessoire if you really do like that style of bag. I would get it in a leather. They look much better in my opinion than the monogram canvas versions. But I would probably go actually for a Givenchy Antigona again in a mini size. So if you're looking for a crossbody bag that is much smaller, I would get the a smooth black leather or a, a smooth nude leather. I think the smooth leathers, the shiny kind of leathers from Givenchy look really elegant. And then you can crossbody the mini version of the Antigona bag. So that would be the way that I would go. And um, probably the Antigona is cheaper than the Louis Vuitton maybe the same slash more expensive than the Prada, but I think overall the look of the Antigona is just much nicer. Last but not least, I've probably got the bag that's the least elegant out of them all, and yes, I have one here with me. Um, this is the Louis Vuitton bum bag, okay? I got the World Tour version with the black leather on. I bought this as an everyday bag. So this for me, when I am out on a walk, when I am out maybe shopping, more of a casual shop, you know, not going anywhere particularly nice for food, just wandering around, walking with friends, blah, blah, blah. This is the bag that I will use. It's very practical, okay? But, I don't think it's elegant at all. I don't even know whether a leather version can really save this because I don't know whether bum bags ever feel particularly elegant in general. They're just, I don't think they're really that style of bag. Maybe a Chanel version, but even then I think they're quite trendy. So a different style of bag then, I would go, because I wear this mostly crossbody and as a shoulder bag, um, I would get a different style of crossbody bag. And one of my favorites that I do think looks sophisticated is the Saint Laurent Solferino bag. I believe that's how you say that, Solferino. Loving this bag. It's like a satchel bag. Um, it looks easy to use like the bum bag. You can crossbody it. You've got 
got the logo on the front, but it's not too much. Um, this comes in lots of different colorways, um, leather versions as well. And I think this just looks so much more sophisticated than the bum bags do. Any kind of designer bum bag, but especially the Louis Vuitton one. So yeah, if you are looking for a less casual look, but a bag that's easy to use, I would look at the Saint Laurent one. Let me know in the comments down below what you think to my choices of not so elegant designer bags and what other designer bags out there do you think definitely don't get the status of elegant. I'd love to hear from you, so let me know in the comments down below. Like I said at the start of the video as well, I have linked to everything down below, including the alternatives. So hopefully you find those links useful. And if you are on Instagram and aren't following me already, make sure you do. My handle is at handbag underscore holly. Make sure you don't go anywhere because coming up next, I will link my latest video release here for you. And in this video here, I'm going to be going through my entire luxury collection and picking out the one piece that I would keep from each brand. So make sure you stay tuned and watch one of those videos coming up next.